Welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh, joined next to Ron Cook. And if you need a roof, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. They're the best in the business. That's why they're number one in Pittsburgh. 1 800 New Roof. They do roofs, they do gutters, they do siding, they do windows. Anything you need, make sure you call Ireland Contracting. Give us a call right now on the Borders to Borders Hotline, 412 575 2600. Before we get to the phone calls, you know, Ron, this has been fun to watch the Pirates go through something like this. Sure I know has. the Indians did it uh, last year. And, you know, when the Pirates are good, this kind of reminded me they're, in the, they're, they're back in it. They're realistically back in the wild card race. And in order to, to contend with these teams, they definitely need to add it. And I, and I really hope that the Pirates management and the ownership sees this, that this, that this is what people want around here. Yeah, I mean, hey, we've had, what, uh, 22 le- losing seasons out of 25 years here. It is fun when your baseball team plays well, and, and it's been a lot of fun. They've pitched great. They've hit great. They defended great. The bunt play that Musgrove made last night was one of the great plays I'll see all year. Mercer had a ball hit up the middle that he turned into a force out today. It was just a great play, too. I think they had three errors during the 11-game winning streak. They played good ball. They played a good game today. Their lineup was weakened without Dickerson and Marte. Let's see what they do against the Mets tomorrow night. But I'm with you. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I, I've stopped. I postponed thinking about the Steelers a little <laughs> bit till I see what they do. Yeah, a couple weeks ago, we didn't. We couldn't wait for camp to get here. All right, Bob, up in Indiana. How you doing, Bob? Good, Rich. Hey, thanks for taking my call. A comment and a question. Uh, the comment is, you know, it's not uh, the win streak we knew was going to end, but it's what they do from here on in. You know, if they can keep winning two or three, three or four in these series, you know, they're going to gradually climb up. And if they don't give them some um, help as far as some, you know, relief pitch and pitch and whatever, and they start trading off these pieces without giving them a chance, they're going to lose the fan base big time, even worse than they are. Yeah, they've already uh, lost the fan base. Uh, yeah, I know. I'll be eager to see what the crowds are this week because they have played great ball. I believe there's a, a fireworks night coming up this week. I think Friday night is faith night where the players actually uh, and Hurdle come back on the field after the game to, uh, to talk about their commitment to their faith. Uh, Sunday's kids day as always. You like to think they'll get a big crowd here. Um, yeah, I'm hopeful they add to it too because it's been a lot of fun. You know, they got a, you know, an easy series. Well, no series is easy, but a series they should win Mets against stink. the Mets. Coming now, they're going to have to face DeGrom on Saturday. Uh, he's got the best ERA in the National League, I believe. But, I mean, they should be able to take three out of four, you would think. And then they have the Cubs, Cardinals, Rockies, Giants, teams that they're all competing with. So, if they're a contender, and if you win those series, you're going to be right in the mix there. Yeah, don't get greedy. You don't need to take three out of three. Win series, take two out of three. All right, back out to the phone lines. Let's go out to Kevin. In McCandless, how you doing, Kevin? Thank you. You there, Kevin? Yes. You're on the air. Thank you. Are you going to ask a question? Or are you just going to say thank you? I'm doing fine. I just wanted to ask <laughs> you and and Mr. Cook. When's the last time the Pirates won a National League championship? National League championship. The last time they played in the World Series was 1979. I guess that's the last time they won it. Yeah, that went to the playoffs it. three years, a couple years ago. Went to the playoffs three years in uh, 90, 91, 92. But the last time they played in the World Series, it was a lifetime ago, 1979. Yeah, the, the places you can upgrade, Ron, you know, I just keep thinking about it. I thought about it on the ride up to camp and back. You know, you, you, maybe a starting pitcher. They're hard to come by. Bullpen right. help. I, I don't know if I would mess with some of the chemistry. You could trade Jordy Mercer away. What would you get for him? You're going to lose him next year. You're going to, you have Gung waiting. Um, yeah, maybe, but who knows when he's coming yeah. up. I, I'd rather keep those guys now and give up a prospect, try to find a relief pitcher, and take my chances. I think this team's earned that by going 13-2 and two since Huntington challenged him. Play better, and I'll, I'll add. Uh, keep losing. We're going to get rid of all of you. And they answered. Well, here's the thing, too. They have money. So maybe you don't have to give up. Financial flexibility. So maybe you don't have to give up a prospect. Maybe you give up some of that money. The $50 million in revenue sharing. The $20 million you save from Cole and McCutcheon. The the other $50 million from Disney. You got money that you can maybe buy players or rental players. Well, you're not going to buy them now. But, I mean, you got to give up something to get these guys. Uh, But, I mean, hopefully... They'll find somebody. This relief pitcher from Texas 
is controllable for like two or three more years. He will not will not just help you this year, he'll help you down the road. But to give up somebody like, get somebody like that, you might have to give up a Meadows. Give up a good prospect. And then you, you have the option of unloading a Vasquez later and moving him up to a closer's role. I, and the other I would thing imagine is, he would be a setup You know, we've here. talked about the July 31st trade deadline. You remember back in 13, they added Bird and Marneau before, at the end of August with the waiver trend. Yeah. So they can still add people into August or get rid of people into August. As, as long as they're not out of it. Right. Yeah. Or if they're out of it, they can move people. Yeah, you're right. Um, all right, let's go out to the phone lines here before we go to break. We're going to go out to Keith out in South Park. How you doing, Keith? Hey, how you doing? Good. Thanks for calling. Uh, my comment on tonight's game is when Marte was – uh, hit in the hand with a pitch in the early innings, first inning. Why not throw back, at least give some serious chin music to that 30 home run hitter from Cleveland? I know I would have. It's all about reputation. I'm going to hang up and listen to your comment. I don't know. Marte leans into the plate so much. It wasn't a high pitch. It, I mean, it got his hand. It wasn't up by his head. I don't think Bauer was throwing at him. Um, yeah, I get what you're saying, but Marte, I think the announcers talked about a Wainer and uh, I don't know if it was Joe Block that were just saying he gets hit a lot because he leans out over the plate uh, and he got hit in the hand. I don't think it was intentional. I don't know. You have to react to that. Yeah. Harrison does the same thing, too. They both yeah. have the, the, the tendency of leaning in to pitches. All right. Let's go out to Waylon out in Washington. How you doing, Waylon? Hi, guys. Hey, I really appreciate you guys. Hey, uh, check it out. Like, I was talking to a friend of mine. I said, like, how can the Pirates, like, you know, not hit the ball, and now they're hitting the ball, you know? And, well, uh, so Waylon, remember, they had a pretty good offense to start the year, Ron. And when okay. you think about it, they had one of the top offenses in the majors. I think they were second in the National League behind Atlanta right. for the first month of the season. So the production is there. They got guys that can hit the ball for sure. Well, I mean, what amazes me, and I wrote about this in the PG tomorrow, what the outfield, they've become the best hitting outfield in baseball. I mean, look what Dickerson has done. Here's a guy that went a month without an RBI, a month without a home run. Uh, you had Marte, who was benched for three games. Polanco was hitting 200 at one point. A lot of us were screaming, send them to the minor leagues, play Meadows. And now all they're doing is just raking the ball. Uh, I give them a lot of credit. I think the lineup hurt today without Dickerson and then without Marte. Uh, it's a drop-off to Loop Low and to Adam Frazier, although Frazier had an extra base hit. Uh, let's see if they get those guys back. Hopefully they're not serious injuries. The way they're going is just outstanding. What was Tampa thinking, you know, giving up on Dickerson? They did eventually trade him to the Pirates. I mean, what, just, he just didn't fit in there? He had well, they were looking season. to cut money. He's making yeah. almost $6 But million they picked up year. Hudson's money, too. Yeah, though. he did. I mean, Dickerson was a star, an all-star the first half of last year, and then he fell off the face of the earth. He was awful yeah. the second half of the season, and it looked like that might be the case this year. He started real fast, and then, I mean, his average numbers were okay, but his power numbers were way down. Then all of a sudden, he starts hitting home runs again. So uh, the lineup looks pretty good with him at the top of it right now. All right, we got to go to a break. Back in a couple minutes with more of your phone calls and some of your tweets. Stay right there.